Which actor shared a couch with Nina Dobrev? How did Arnold Schwarzenegger convince Lindsay Morgan to become an actress? Who was friends with Khaleesi, Amelia Clark? Hi, I'm Dylan, and today we're talking about the love lives of our post-apocalyptic warriors. Let's start with Lindsay Morgan as Raven Reyes. We know Lindsay today as a successful actress who can show off her Daytime Emmy Awards nomination for her role in General Hospital. Looking back, it's hard to believe that the actress was on the verge of giving up on acting. But two men in particular encouraged her to continue. At the age of 18, the actress went on to study politics and journalism and almost quit auditioning to become a lawyer. It was her beloved boyfriend at the time who convinced Lindsay to keep pursuing acting as a career. Shortly after, Morgan stumbled upon Arnold Schwarzenegger's biography. The Terminator's voice spoke right to her soul and said to risk it all. He mentioned not having a plan B, and it resonated with me. It does force you to make it work. And look at her now! The actress not only stars as one of the leads in The 100, but also directs an episode in the final season. Her character, rebellious genius and engineering mastermind Raven, had a pretty tragic love story. In fact, she lost everyone she ever loved. In real life, though, the actress is truly thriving in that sense. The 30-year-old actress is dating Canadian actor Sean Sipos, who played in The Vampire Diaries. The two have no intention of hiding their romance. On New Year's Eve, the actress shared a photo collage, one of which was with her BF, captioned, One of my favorite moments this year. Feeling immense gratitude for the many blessings in my life as I look back on the last 365 days. We hope the next year will bring as many blessings for Lindsay. Now let's talk about the charming Chukumoru as Gabriel Santiago Xavier. Despite his seamless American accent in the series, the 29-year-old actor was born and raised in London and has Nigerian, English, Irish, and German heritage. We know him as a guy with a soft cardigan to share, but where have I seen him before? Did you watch Game of Thrones? That's right! The actor crossed paths with Amelia Clark twice, once when he played Cal's follower Ago and when he starred in a minor role in Me Before You. Modu is known for his role of Jared Kalu in The Good Doctor and for playing Solar in the Captain Marvel movie. When Chuku found his passion in acting, he went on to study at the Richmond Drama School. Guess who he graduated with? Tom Hardy himself! Well, 15 years apart, but still, they did walk the same halls. On the surface, it seems like the actor has had a pretty nonchalant life, traveling the world and landing roles in big movies. But in reality, Chuka revealed that his path to fame was quite a ride, saying, Three years ago, I was working four different jobs, sweeping a club floor to support the dream. Seems like a lifetime ago. Don't stop the hustle. Ever. A bit of wisdom from Gabriel. In The 100, Chuku portrays a heartbroken geneticist who's been obsessing over the same person for over 200 years. But is he as devoted in real life? Well, it did seem like Chuku was in a long-term relationship with a British woman named Coral Alice Natalie since 2015. But it's hard to tell whether they are still together these days. The actor hasn't posted any pictures with Coral for two years. The couple could be on a break or perhaps they're no longer an item. Modu keeps his personal life low-key, and what we know is that right now, his only companion is his motorcycle. After finishing filming Season 7, the star shared a picture of a pile of shredded scripts. As I reflect on the last two years, I'm full of gratitude for the experience, the blood, sweat, and tears, and most of all, full of love. Shout out to the folk who carried it this far so I could jump on and have some fun. A bittersweet moment for all of us. And we're moving on to another actress in the limelight, Marie Avdaropoulos as Octavia Blake. There is no doubt the 33-year-old actress was born to portray the ruthless Red Queen in the 100. Marie grew up in Ontario, Canada, where she spent most of her childhood under the sky fishing, hunting, and clearly foreseeing her future role in the 100. After studying journalism for two years, Marie realized she was destined to have more than a mediocre life. She auditioned for the role of a drummer in a commercial, and it turned out to be her lucky day. She caught the eye of the Harry Potter director Chris Columbus, who hired her for her first feature film I Love You, Beth Cooper, which kickstarted her whole career. Marie starred in the Supernatural series, The Cult, and had a breakout role in The Hunt to Kill. In 2013, the actress hit it off with the Twilight star Taylor Lautner. The two shared together in the action thriller Tracers, but broke up after its release. 
Offset, Marie maintains her badass character. She surfs, camps, boxes, horse rides, snowboards, and rides her motorcycle. I can't even keep up with all the activities she likes, but her current beau certainly does. Fortunately, Marie's personal life is way better than Octavia's love story. Alain Moussi could be her ultimate match, actually. He's an actor, martial artist, and a stuntman for Henry Cavill in The Immortals and Hugh Jackman in X-Men Apocalypse. These two are made for each other. Don't believe me? Watch their quarantine routine, kickboxing, and landing punches. Some couples can be extra. Now honorable mention goes to our favorite lovebirds, Eliza Taylor and Bob Morley as Clark Griffin and Bellamy Blake. The two Aussie actors spent seven years on set together and became an object of international ship. The fans had no idea that while they were persistently creating intimate edits of Eliza and Bob trying to manifest their union, the two secretly got married in Hawaii. It's been one year since that day, and these lovebirds can't stop melting our hearts with Insta posts, confessing their love for one another. Recently, Morley shared his thoughts on his marriage to Eliza by posting behind-the-scenes photos from season one, captioned, If nothing else in my life, I did one thing right, and that was a year ago today. Best decision I ever made. You are my soulmate and goddess, always and forever, Eliza Taylor. Which means the two knew from day one they were going to spend the rest of their lives together. That's goals. Also, am I the only one who gets weirded out by their real Australian accents when listening to their interviews? God, that's what I call acting. Let's talk the new face of the 100, Shelby Flannery as Hope DeYoza. And who is this mysterious lady that made her quick appearance in the final episode of season six? Let me introduce you to Shelby. The actress has just started out in the industry. She just graduated from the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Arts when she landed her first role. Yet her appearance in the series was a game changer. Her character, an adult version of Hope, might have terminated Octavia's life in a split second. Now we wonder whether the new season will be the most heartbreaking for Bellamy or will an anomaly help bring our queen back? Despite her acting breakthrough, the actress has a little over 6,000 followers on her Instagram account, where she teases her fans with selfies with her potential beau. As for now, Flannery might be prioritizing her career over a fling. Thank you. Next! Shannon Cook as Jordan Jasper Green the South African actor joined the cast two years ago to portray a moral compass in the series, the good guy of the team, just like his father. Cook himself said that, Jordan has come into the story to remind everybody of the humanity and the heart that is inside of all of them. Shannon kicked off his career in the crime drama HBO series Durham County, and later joined Degrassi, the Next Generation series, as a regular. His talents didn't go unseen. He won the title of the Toronto International Film Festival Rising Star two years in a row. After booking his CW role, Cook befriended Nina Dobrev and even moved in with her to split the cost of rent. What a small world! But acting is not his only passion. The 100 actor has fantastic photography skills. Check out these gems. Since most of his muses are women, we don't even know which one to choose to ship with him. Just kidding. Shannon's heart's already taken by this lovely lady. Who has time for dates when all his days are occupied with being a dad for little pup Nala? Now let's talk Tasia Tellis as Echo. Another Canadian in the cast, the 35-year-old actress participated in many projects before joining CW's The 100, like Supernatural, Rogue, iZombie, BBC's America's Intruders, and most importantly, the legendary Prison Break. Wow, the girl never takes a break. Although the star is not currently in a relationship at the moment, she has a husband, well, a work husband. Tasia is basically wedded to her co-star Sashin Sayal, who portrays Eric Jackson. Chill out guys, they're just messing with us. Or are they? Back in 2017, the two posted a pic of them cuddling with the hashtag date night, leaving their fans super confused. Sachin even jokingly referred to his co-star as his wife on his Instagram page, saying, happy wife, happy life and some people went nuts over it. Ugh, I guess they're not joining the 100 cast couples list. But on a real note though, please do. Richard Harmon as John Murphy, and Rionan Fish as Antari. Now, unlike their co-stars Bob and Eliza, these two have no intention of hiding their love. The couple couldn't keep their feelings a secret and spilled the tea about their love life after nine months of dating. The two even attended Richard's sister's wedding together, which means it's pretty serious. What we love about them is their chemistry and mutual sense of humor. 
The 29-year-old actress posted a picture of the two kissing, captioned, The most magical evening with this above-average man. We didn't have to wait long for Richard to clap back, saying, That's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. And the verdict is, It's true love, guys. Funny enough, I saw a guy on Reddit comment, God damn, how many couples got together from this show? Which made me chuckle. But I guess after seven years of filming, the cast inevitably grows into a family. That's why it's so hard to say goodbye to the characters of the series this year. But for now, let's enjoy the intrigue of the finale. Now comment below who's your favorite couple on the show, and who do you ship the most? Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, stay awesome!